Welcome everyone to another episode of Louisville Urban Explorer. Today is Eclipse Day 2017 and I happen to be in Sweetwater, Tennessee, uh, which should be a really, really good spot to view the eclipse and should have over two minutes of totality. Uh, so this is my where I'm set up. Got some chairs and uh, some water and bug spray, that kind of stuff. And then over here on the hill, I've got my tripod set up and uh, hopefully going to get some really good pictures and video. And uh, I'm excited. This, this should be a good day. All right, so I wanted to show you my setup over here. I've got my action cam set up over here. And hopefully I'm going to take a time-lapse uh, video with that and then I've got my main DSLR camera that I'll be doing stills on and then over here this is a, just an old digital camera that I have uh, I don't really use it too often but it has a longer zoom than my DSLR so that's actually what I'm going to be filming on this for this video Hopefully it will work out, we'll see. Uh, but yeah, I made a homemade uh, sun filter for the still camera, and then I've got another filter that I'm gonna be putting on the video camera. And I got my eclipse glasses. So hopefully should uh, be all set. has definitely started. I actually kind of lost track of time a little bit and missed the very first part. And I do apologize for that, but it's still pretty early. So I think we'll be alright. is amazing. I have never experienced an eclipse in person. The, uh, the last one that was over the United States happened the year I was born, in 1979. So this is the first opportunity that I've had All right, so we've got about 20 minutes or so until totality. And I think it's pretty awesome that I mean, we're looking at the sun, but it looks like a crescent moon right now. It's just a phenomenon I've never seen in my entire life. All right, we are getting very close and I can definitely tell uh, outside here it is getting darker and the temperature is dropping. It's pretty amazing. All right, we were just a few minutes away from totality and I've heard stories about how uh, the animals go crazy during eclipses and no joke, I, I just heard a donkey I don't know what it was doing, but it was going crazy. <laughs>
Well, the total eclipse is over, and the sun has come back out, and it was an absolutely amazing sight. I feel uh, very thankful and blessed to have been able to have seen this with my own eyes, and also uh, record it, and uh, keep a record of what happened on Eclipse Day 2017. Alright, so I wanted to give a brief description of the temperature change that occurred during the eclipse. Uh, we took some screenshots with our cell phone and uh, the first one was around 12, 12 17 p.m. this was before the start of the eclipse and we were at around 94 degrees uh, you know, low to mid 90s um, so then the next screenshot was from 2.26 p.m. and this was uh, about six minutes before totality this is uh, well into the eclipse the temperature had already dropped to 80, 88 degrees at this point so then the next one was at 2.47 p.m. This is about 12 minutes after totality. And we're see, seeing the lowest temperature that it gets to at 83 degrees. And then um, the next one, you can see the temperature is starting to go back up. It's 87 degrees at 3.18 p.m. So the last one was at 4.06 p.m. Uh, this is after the eclipse is complete. And, we are back into the low 90s. This was just a really neat part of the eclipse to experience and I really didn't realize uh, how dramatic the change would be. This was obviously my first ever attempt at trying to uh, photograph and video an eclipse. Uh, also the first ever attempt at trying to photograph the sun. Uh, but overall, I'm pretty pleased with how things turned out. Um, I hope that you enjoy the video, and have a great day.